Hi, respectful greetings to all of you, I hope you are all doing well this year too. I would like to keep focus and constantly remember that Jesus Christ does not want us to be docile, brainwashed and slaves to do just work and pay taxes and fees, to stay impoverished and not own anything, to put up with lies, cheats and corruptions. Jesus Christ wants us to not overlook facts and this way to be compliance with the committed crimes by psychopathic people of any social class, position, background, wealth, education, or family ties, crimes committed in our very eyesight and our knowledge. Being Christian does not mean we have to stay and suffer. Let's follow courageously his example. Dear viewer thank you for clicking on my video I truly appreciate you. This is a video following my previous video about 15 minute cities, here is another example of a place where humans can be. Stored it is called Neom and is a futuristic city project that aims to create a new model of urban living in Saudi Arabia. One of the main features of Neom is the Mirror Line, a linear city that stretches for more than 100 miles along the Red Sea coast. The Mirror Line is designed to be a carbon neutral, car free zone which means no personal transportation probably will be centralized and choreographed by somebody, in the position of decision and control, a controller to approve for traveling or probably need to evacuate and or escape. Listen, this sustainable city that will accommodate 9 million people and offer them a high quality of life. The mirror line consists of two long mirror encased skyscrapers that are 500 meters high and 200 meters wide. The skyscrapers will house all the daily needs of the residents, such as health care, education, entertainment, and commerce. The residents will also have access to outdoor activities such as skiing and hiking in the surrounding nature. The mirror line will run on 100% renewable energy and preserve 95% of the land for nature conservation. The mirror line is part of Neom's vision to become a global hub for innovation and creativity. Neom claims that artificial intelligence will be central to how people live in the city and that it will provide personalized services and solutions for their needs. That's all good if the artificial intelligence will be trained by the law to not harm people and will not be under the control of some elite psychopath entity. Neom also says that it will use advanced technology to plan logistics and modular construction, which will enable efficient delivery of the city. The Mirror Line is a bold and ambitious project that has attracted both praise and criticism from different perspectives. Some see it as a revolutionary way to address the challenges of urbanization, climate change, and social inequality. Others question its feasibility, cost-effectiveness, environmental impact, and human rights implications. We all know about human rights over there, so we can put to rest all concerns about human rights No. In conclusion, Neom is the Mirror Line is a futuristic city project that aims to create a new model of urban living in Saudi Arabia. It is one of the most ambitious urban developments in modern times, but also one of the most controversial ones. It raises many questions about how technology can shape our future society and environment. So if we follow the money one potential is Amazon where the CEO is a so-called humanitarian good person, please see my video about what are good people, where I mentioned two real good people and I expressed my position about what are the rest of CEOs, who do not apply simply copy and paste, what Dan and Joe did for their workers. And here is the other potential investor Lockheed Martin the company that produces killing machines and destructive toys for psychopath mercenaries. If these entities will care as much about those in the Neom as they care about their employees as Amazon and respective care about peace and prosperity of humanity as Lockheed Martin.
I am really so sorry for those 9 million people who think they are going live in the future or 7th heaven. One day they will find out they are under the boots of the controllers at the mercy of psychopaths who will not care if a storm comes and or earth earthquake hits the area, what about if electricity is gone? They will care? What about the water supply is gone, they will be stranded in the desert. It could be heaven as a utopic paradise on earth or it, it could be hell in a giant enclosed metal box in the scorching desert. We will see what the future will hold for the tenants of the Neum. As we the rest we will find out how the 15 minute cities will work out for us. Thank you for watching, God bless you. Thank you for watching, God bless you.